Hello everybody, today we are going to be doing some predictions for the Premier League tonight. Um, the first one, so this is um, game week 5 I think it's still. Um, so just, just these two, just these games for the Premier League. Um, the first one, actually let's, I don't think you can see the icon. So all these games today. And first off. AFC Bournemouth versus Wolves. And I think it's going to be a 2-1 to Wolves. Only because that look, Bournemouth have got a win and Wolves haven't though. But Bournemouth was 9-0 to Liverpool last time. And they're going to be on the. They're not going to be doing very well. Although they have got in their starting lineup, they have got Solanke, who is a good striker in the championship. But while Wolves have, they lost Adam Traore last season, which was a big blow. But they've still got Will Jimenez. And. And Ruben Neves. And they've all got... And Wolves have Jamal No injured. Oh, no. No. Wolves have Jamal No injured. And David Brooks. So I'm going to go for a 2-1. Two, 2-1 one, two, one Wolves for that one. And then... Right, the next one that we have, Arsenal versus Villa. I think nil nil, because Villa have Coutinho and um, Coutinho shines. You know, he's got a good a good free kick specialist, and they've also got Danny Ings. I think they've got him. They have got Danny Ings, but they're not going to come on. The, Scores you think is Arsenal got Aaron Ramsdale, who's a brilliant keeper, and I think it was stop all the shots. And the Villa's keeper, let me just see if he's any good. I'm just gonna, see, I can't remember who their keeper was. Um, Martinez is a good keeper, but then they got you got, but although nil, no, no, one nil Arsenal, I think, because you know, you got the. Aaron Ramsdale, Bayako Saka, and then you've got Jesus, Odegaard, Tierney. They've got a strong side. Although, where's Coutinho out? For Villa. Doesn't look like Coutinho's playing. I don't think this is confirmed lineups, a possible lineup. Doesn't predict any Coutinho. Just mad, but they got John McGinn and Buendia there and Ollie Watkins. But I don't think that they're going to shine. So I think I'm going for a 1 0 at Arsenal there. I mean, the table. Arsenal are top of the league by two points ahead of Manchester City. And they're both playing tonight. While Villa... Are 16th in the league. With only three points in four. In the last four games. So I'm going to go 1-0 Arsenal for that one. And I think Man City versus Nottingham Forest. I think Forest are going to come out today and win 1-0. Why is that? Because... You know, brilliant goalkeeper. Morgan Gibbs-White, Manuel Dennis... And yeah, Steve, they got a good team, and Dean Henderson in goal. 
I think that they're going to be this, this mad team, this mad Man City team. Although they couldn't, they might not though. They might not, but they have. Because, you know, although Man City got Erling Haaland, but Haaland, the thing is with Haaland is that Haaland... Like, you know, when he scored, um, I think it was like three goals, didn't he, in his last game? And let's just try and find the last game. And did, I think it was on Saturday. Yeah, it was. Haaland. Oh, I went on to the Liverpool one. Erling Haaland. Scored a hat trick, but he only probably had four touches each half. Oh, I saw, and that's because they throw they when you put him in front of goal, he scores it. But I don't think Man City are gonna ha are gonna be able to do that to Nottingham Forest. And that's why I predict one 0 Forest. Spurs and West Ham, a London derby. Conte is a brilliant manager. Spurs, and I'm going to go for 2-0 Tottenham. Because Conte has, like, you know, made the Spurs side a brilliant side. They beat Nottingham Forest 2-0 on, on Sunday. And, you know, you obviously got Harry and that front... F and, you know, that night, the front three of Kulisevsky, Kane... And and Son is brilliant. Uh, many injuries. No. Oh wait, have they got any? Although they have Lucas Mora. Lucas Mora out. And let me just find it again. Lucas Mora is out. And that... And, you know, that's a blow for Tottenham. But... Beat Forest Tuna. Antonio Conte has brought... A, has, you know... Because they've got Son, Kulisevsky and Kane up front. The def and then you've got Perisic added to that as well. And it's just a brilliant team. Whereas West Ham have been struggling. They're 17th in the league with only... 17th in the league with only three points. And then last one, Liverpool versus Newcastle. I'm going to go with a 1-1. Because Newcastle have had a strong start. They um, drew 3-3. Three, three. I think they beat Man City or drew with them. They had a good game against Man City. I think they did. Um, let's just see. Matches. Results. They drew 3-3 three, three with Man City. And I think that, you know, they've, they've had a strong start to the Premier League this season. Uh, while Liverpool have only got their have only got one win and are only twelfth in the league, and that one win was nine 0 against Bournemouth, and Bournemouth are a, and they won nine 0 against Bournemouth, so they've got the momentum. But I think I think um, with that momentum, it's not going to matter, and I and I actually think that. That's going to be 1-1 one, one for that one. And then that brings us to the end of the Premier League game tonight. Thank you for watching. Every time a Premier League club plays, I'm going to do a prediction video now. From now on, if I can. And we'll see what happens.
on or oh, oh no tonight. See you later.